Speak up English, the key to success. Emma, I've been looking for effective English speaking techniques to boost my confidence. Do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. Alex, I found a few techniques that have been really helpful for me too. Please share them with me. Well, first, we can start with tongue twisters. They're fun and help improve pronunciation and diction. I remember those from childhood. Let's give it a try. Great job, Alex. Tongue twisters can be challenging, but they're a fantastic warm-up exercise. I agree. What other techniques do you have? Watching English movies or TV shows with subtitles can help us associate spoken words with their written forms. That sounds helpful. It will also expose us to different accents and speaking styles. Exactly. Plus, it's an enjoyable way to practice. To having fun while improving our English speaking skills. Cheers to that, Alex. Emma, I've heard that recording ourselves speaking and then listening back can be beneficial. We can identify areas for improvement. That's a fantastic idea, Alex. It will give us a chance to analyze our pronunciation and work on fluency. I believe speaking with native English speakers could also be beneficial. It helps us adapt to natural conversations. You're absolutely right, Alex. It's an excellent way to learn new expressions and improve our conversational skills. Perhaps we can join conversation groups or language exchange programs together. That's a great plan. We can support each other while making new friends and gaining confidence in speaking English. Another technique I've come across is storytelling. Narrating personal experiences or stories helps with vocabulary and fluency. I love that idea, Alex. It adds a personal touch to our language practice. To embracing various techniques and becoming fluent English speakers. Cheers to that, Alex. May our language learning journey be filled with progress and success. Emma, I've noticed that sometimes I hesitate to speak in English, especially in front of others. How can we build more confidence? It's normal to feel that way, Alex. One technique that helps is practicing speaking aloud on various topics, even if we're alone. So, like giving impromptu speeches? Yes, exactly. It boosts our ability to express ourselves spontaneously and articulately. I think that would be beneficial. It will also reduce the fear of making mistakes. Making mistakes is part of the learning process, Alex. We learn and improve from them. I'm glad we can support each other on this language journey. That's what friends are for. We're here to motivate and encourage each other. To facing our language barriers with courage and determination. Cheers to that Alex. May our growing confidence propel us towards fluency. Emma, I've been thinking about how we can improve our English speaking skills through active listening. That's a great point, Alex. Active listening is essential for effective communication. How can we practice active listening in our daily lives? One way is by engaging in conversations and really focusing on what the other person is saying. 
We can ask follow-up questions to show our interest. So, it's not just about speaking, but also about being fully present in a conversation. Exactly. When we actively listen, we pick up on new vocabulary and language patterns, which we can then incorporate into our own speech. I appreciate how you're always sharing these valuable language learning insights with me, Emma. Likewise, Alex. We're a team, and we're both committed to improving our English. To the power of active listening and its impact on our language journey. Cheers to that, Alex. May our active listening skills make us better communicators in English and beyond. Emma, I've been thinking about how storytelling can help us become more engaging speakers. How can we incorporate it into our practice? Great question, Alex. We can start by sharing anecdotes or personal experiences with each other regularly. That sounds like a fun way to practice and connect with each other on a deeper level. Absolutely. Storytelling allows us to use language in a meaningful context, making it easier to remember new vocabulary and expressions. Maybe we can even create dialogues and act out different scenarios to make our practice sessions more interactive. I love that idea, Alex. It will simulate real-life conversations and boost our confidence in various situations. To the power of storytelling and bringing life to our language practice. Cheers to that, Alex. May our storytelling skill- Hey everyone! I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you like what you see, consider doing a few things that really help our channel grow and reach more people. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, or inspiring, give it a thumbs up. It tells us that you enjoyed it, and it helps others find this content too. If you think this video could benefit someone else, sharing is caring. Click that share button and pass it along to your friends or anyone who might find it valuable. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with our latest videos, and it means the world to us. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. Your support means everything to us, and we can't wait to continue this journey together. Support means everything to us, and we can't wait to continue this journey together.